Welcome to the new Herco Solid Model Import option. We will go over some of the features and capabilities now available using WinMax on the Max 5 control. First, select the solid model to use. In this case, it is an STP file available as part of the WinMax package. Tap on the import key here, then follow the path to the desired file. Once selected, just hit open to load it in. A message reminds us that the export option is disabled when importing solid models. Once loaded, we can manipulate the model the same way as the WinMax generated stock you will be familiar with. All of the standard controls work on the right side pane for zooming, panning, and rotating the model in space. Use the center blue button to return to the default state after using one of the controls. We also have a handy on-screen control option that helps minimize time when working directly on the Max 5 control. The four standard views are available with XY, XZ, YZ, isometric, as well as a quad view. Before we get into selecting features on our solid, we will need to prepare WinMax to accept the information. Create a new program by going to Input, then Program Manager, and New Conversational Program. This will create a noname1.hwm program. You can rename the program to match the part you are going to be cutting. In this case, I'll rename it Sample Solid. By going to the Conversational Settings via Utilities, Conversational Settings, you can select if new blocks created by the import are placed at the end of the program or if it is placed just below the currently selected block. Using this test cube, we will select the bottom of this pentagonal pocket. To do this, start an ISO view, then check the Visible Only box and use the single point cursor. Simply click on the floor of the pocket and the orange highlight indicates that an entity has been selected. Once the surface is selected, just click the contour button in the Create Block menu. There will be a prompt for you to optionally choose the top surface. Choose the contour direction by clicking on the model. Once satisfied with the features selected and the direction of the contour, just click on the green checkbox and your block will be created. On the review screen, you can see the data block and sub-blocks that we created. The pocket depth is automatically pulled from the model. Select the tool to be used or create a new one and the block is complete. The second feature we will use is this pocket with a triangular island. Again, use the visible only and the single select cursor to click on the floor of the pocket. Once apply is clicked, the software detects that the surface selected is rotated and will ask for confirmation of the Z orientation. Click directly on the gnomon to change the workpiece orientation if the auto select was incorrect. Select the Z start surface to establish the depth of the pocket. Then click the checkbox again to approve the change. Select the contour direction by clicking anywhere on the graphic screen to change between climb or conventional directions. WinMax handled the creation of the transform plane and the pocket boundary with a pocket island. Inside the transform block, we see the vector data has been entered automatically. Draw to verify the pocket island. Our sample cube also has a bolt hole pattern on the side of it. Use the rotate function to bring that side into view and then use the visible only and the multi-select toggles to select the sidewall of each individual hole. Once the holes are created, we can choose pattern holes or location holes depending on the particular need for the program. For this, we will use the pattern holes block. Check and confirm the Z-plane direction by clicking on the gnomon. The transform plane is created and the pattern location is placed within the data block. Just add your tool and the block is done. Drawing the program with the holes added shows the drill coming in from the side and going to depth. The last feature we will cover is programming pockets at multiple depths. To do this, again use the depth selection made available by selecting the top of a feature. First, use the visible only constraint and the single select mode to choose the first pocket. Then create a contour block. Verify the plane direction and the top surface, then use the check mark to apply the changes. We repeat the operation for the second depth feature, first selecting the surface, then creating the contour block and verifying the direction. Calculate the second pocket depth by clicking on the bottom of the previous pocket, then verify the contour direction before applying the changes again. Going to the program review screen, we see both sets of automatically created transform planes and the pocket boundaries defined by our previous selections. We also see that we have an unneeded pocket island created from the first selection. This is because WinMax automatically uses just the defined surface. In order to solve this, we need just two presses. 
With the undesired block selected, first hit the delete block key, then accept the warning message. After adding the correct tool to the two remaining pocket boundaries, we can now draw the result. We can see each depth was done individually with the lower pocket rabbiting straight to plane with no wasted peck levels. To get this option, please contact your local Herco distributor for more information or go to herco.com to learn more about compatibility and price.